then and I was and then she was like, yeah, she. I told him that basically we can talk about man's arm like Nez. Do you want to get an argument with him? <laughs> right. Like, mm, it's like, and then she's like, uh, make sure he doesn't say anything stupid. I'm like, okay. So you want me to monitor his drinking, which I get that. Hey, you know what? Babysit me. Can you change my diaper? Can you fucking help me out? Like, fuck. I know I'm, I'm not like the oldest guy, but I'm, you know, I'm 23. I pay my bills in Texas. Right. Shit. Exactly. So like, but it's like how are you going to sit here and allow give somebody the green light to talk about something that you're like by the way you might want to just make sure he doesn't say anything dumb define that because my standards are pretty loose when it comes to (laughs) i say a lot of dumb shit but i think like this is where i'm like i kind of keep it in the middle yeah it does everybody else gets to hear it and yeah you can definitely still communicate your point across yeah without Without being too outlandish yeah being a fucking moron yeah, which I, I'm pretty used to. But yeah, so I was like, well, I don't, I don't know. It's like I, I'm like, look, I don't know what he's gonna say. I don't know what he's gonna do. But you, you're the one that opened up. You're the one that opened up that can of worms, not me. Yeah. Because honestly, dude, like when it comes to like one thing that's cool thing about Ash is like, it's not a whole lot of things that I can say that is gonna allow her to get super upset with me. Like anything about my past or anything about previous relationships. Mm-hmm. And then when I like, I don't know if you saw that video, the one we talked with that little segment that we talked about the mask. Yeah. How she was like, looked at you. I was like, Christian had a past. You know, we all had a past. Right? Like, fuck. <laughs> yeah. And then don't get mad when like you ask about it. And I don't mean her just in general. You can't get mad about somebody's past. I love we her to had- death, but she, you know, she's, you know, she doesn't, I guess she's not used to somebody having as long of a track record mm-hmm. and as much of a past, you know? Mm-hmm. As where she's had a short past, she's, I mean, like, compared to me, she's a fucking saint. Like, mm-hmm. so that's kind of where the problem lies. Yeah. Is where, like, man, you you got too many fucking skeletons in your closet, basically. Like. Yeah, and and, and I, that's what I told her. Like, look, at the end of the day, and it sounds very, uh, very vulgar, what I'm about to say, we kind of tend to get everybody's leftovers, each other's leftovers. I mean, you know. I'd rather know somebody's past than wonder. Because for me, it's like, I don't have this misconception that, you know, I'm a, like, oh, I'm Ashes first. I'm like, bitch, please. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. <laughs> like, come on. No, yeah, no, it's called <laughs> you know? your expectations. So yeah. what, what I do usually, no matter what relationship, whatever, I'm not going to ask. I don't want to know. I'll never assume I don't care what the fuck you did. And that uh, work and that works for you. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Like I, and that works for me. Everybody's different. So mm-hmm. like but that's the way I can process it. Because mm-hmm. if I was to know, I don't know if I could really handle it. But you that that, that that for you is the right way to handle it. Yeah. Healthy. Mm-hmm. Not more like I don't want to know. Don't ask, don't tell, because then it's not that mentality. It's more of like this is what I need. Yeah. Because I mean, like some couples they mm-hmm. They grow better knowing each other's past and knowing what they went through in each other. So, but for me, I don't want to know shit. You know, give me the, uh, maybe a silver, like a little outline of what's happening, like a brief summary. I'll read it, Mm -hmm. whatever. You you can lift it up a little bit if you need to, man. There you go. Oh, that's a lot better. (laughs) You're like, oh, my (laughs) cooking. Yeah. It's like, why is he not moving his neck? He's all stiff. Yeah. This is like when I was doing motorcycle practice. Yeah. Um, but, um, yeah, that's what worked for me forever. I just, I don't want to know. It's fine. Yeah. Keep on, keep on moving forward. Always look towards the end goal and try and work along the way. But, yeah. But, I mean, you know, we all. She's got growing to do, and I'm here to help her grow, and she's here to help me grow. So that's what we're trying mm-hmm. to do. So That's the key, man. Like, you, you have to... Um, you have to grow as an individual at the same time as you're growing as a person. So it's one of those things where you can grow as an individual, but then you might stop growing as a couple, and it just means it's time to go. Yeah, it should fucking happen. You know, it happens. It's a reality, and that's one thing that that Ash hates. What I say, it's like everything ends somehow. Every couple, every relationship ends in tragedy. I saw that. It in really Atlanta. does. I mean, if you want to think about it, let's say you had a great, happy relationship. You're married, fifty years. Yeah. Well, somebody's going to die. 
But, yeah, exactly. You know, nobody lives forever. You, I mean, it's fucking sad, but yeah. like, you know, you gotta learn how to power through certain mm-hmm. things that happen in your relationships and in your life. Like, you just gotta figure it the fuck out. Yeah, and you can't hold somebody accountable for something that happened during a break or at a time where you weren't with that person. You just can't. You can't just live define like that. a fucking break first. Well, I mean, so I think that most people should define a break between each other so that way there's no type of miscommunication. There might have been something going on. No, you give them a whole fucking outline. So if you're like, oh, well, you can see different people or this, that, then you fucking do that. Then you don't got to fucking whine and cry. You figured out somebody sucked your man's cock or some shit I mean, like judging that, you by know? your tone of voice, this sounds like a very personal that, No, example. yeah, it ha- it's happened to me. But the problem is, here's the thing. I, I told them exactly what was going to happen. But they didn't get the message, so it's fucking hard. So you got to be very specific if you're going to do a break or some shit like that or whatever. So, like, guys, girls, be fucking specific. Everybody needs to know exactly what's going on if you're doing a break. Or don't don't provide a definition as a test. Yeah, oh, oh. I don't like that. My God, I hate tests. I fucking hate it. I'm going to fail it every time. I hate it. I, I'll <laughs> fail the shit out of it. Oh, my God. Fight for me. It's so weird.